How's it guys? Before I start this video, don't forget to like subscribe for quick tips and tricks and pair skits. So before I start this video, I'd like to give a shout out to a new subscriber. So today's shout out goes out to Amirul. I don't know how to say your full name, so I'm just gonna leave it right here. So the subscriber really enjoys watching my videos and she wanted me to do like a daily vlog and also nighttime routines. I already made a couple of nighttime routines but I can make more. So today I'm making a vlog so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And also there's a subscriber that was commenting that I should just get over my fears of just going out and stuff like that because he was also a gunshot victim. But the thing is we're not all the same. Everybody's struggle is not the same. My goals is not your goals. My fears are not your fears. So the reason why I don't go out is because I have fears because of the things I went through. And it's not just because I was shot. It was also because of stuff that happened when I was younger. I was abused when I was a baby. And also I was in an abusive relationship. So I ended up having trust issues. So it's not just that. So it's just, I just go through a lot. So anyways, I'm going to start this vlog. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So let's begin. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys at the store because I don't want to waste my battery. So I'll see you in a bit. So right now I'm just checking out some cameras. Right now I'm using a GoPro. So I just want something better quality. Oh, I also forgot to mention I'm at Best Buy. <laughs> And also in the meantime, my dad wants to do some shopping. Just get out the house. I also like to mention some of my triggers. Like some people told me to just get over my fears, but certain things I just can't get over. You know, like sudden sounds and things like that, it freaks me out. So like I was saying, my struggles is your struggles, just like my goal is in your goals. Just like it takes longer for some to accept being paralyzed than others. And some people learn slower than others being paralyzed. So we're not all the same. I'm not really much of a gamer. So it's just my brother, he just wants to check out some games. So these headphones right here are pretty nice. My brother's pretty good at games, so that's something that he'll like and something he'll want to buy. Oh, so close. My dad lost. So some of the things that people don't know or see is how I am in public where I get pretty paranoid when people are behind me and I freak out over little noises. So when that guy was saying to just get over my fears and he was shot too, I'm totally a different kind of person. I went through probably more than most people at age 21. I was homeless for a couple years too, but I don't really want to talk about all that. So it's like I went through a lot. I was in abusive relationship where my baby mom used to kick me, stomp on my back when I was laying down, choke me, put knives to me, and cops wouldn't do nothing. They say, well, you're still breathing. How we know she choked you? And that's what's messed up with society. They don't see abuse with men. Also, when I was younger, when I was like one or two years old, I was abused as a baby. Since all that happened, I just see a lot of negative in the world. World and, and people. Now those are pretty nice. Just showing off so right here i'm just checking out different video editing software i think it's the same as uh, adobe premiere but it says elements but i just gotta ask somebody pulled the alarm or something but anyways here's the cameras 
I'm just waiting for somebody to see if they know more about cameras. And most likely I gotta buy the Premiere Pro, maybe just online or something like that, because the elements is not the same as Premiere Pro, of course. Also, I was telling my dad, I was like, where's my brother at? I was like, I don't want anybody to kidnap him, but I was like, I think they'll just give him back anyways, because he's annoying, I'm just playing. I love my brother. Let's play his game. I'm trying to beat this person's high score. All right, guys, so my best bet will probably be the Sony 6100, and then this is an older one. It's about seven years old, and then if I just pay like $100 more, then I could get this, a newer version. So this is mirrorless. It's pretty good. It has 24 megapixels, and also the autofocus is pretty great. So I'm just doing like my research on what I want. So since I'm done doing my research and seeing what kind of camera I want to do, I'll just wait and see like my school, college, or will pay for it. I'm thinking about like graph designs or something like that. So now I'm done doing my research. I'm about to head out in a bit, and I'll see you guys in the car. That's how you get in the car. Man, it's kind of hot right now. I came here like in the early in the morning. It was kind of cold, I think. No, it was hot. Yeah, it was hot all today. Timmy, I'll repeat what you just said about uh, VidCon. Okay, so hey Joey, I think you can make it a VidCon. I believe in you for making what 10,000 to 10 million subscribers. No, my brother was saying that uh, that I should go to VidCon. I was like, that's only for those that reach like about a million subscribers, I think. And he was like, I think you could do it. <laughs> Hopefully, I could reach up to about a thousand subscribers. So help me out. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I was trying to, I was trying to find a better video editing app. There's one for, there's a one. It's called uh, Premiere Pro. I was telling my dad if he could help me buy it because I was looking at cameras today. Uh, just like, just shopping, see what's out there. Yeah more than one to use yeah you know I've, I've i've went through so many video editing apps you know it's just that's what happens when you do stuff like this it's like a lot of photographers and stuff they go through a lot of cameras because there's always something better you know same with like video editing apps there's always something better so it's just something we just go through we just go through like stuff like that sally thomas is not on this video so it's my friend dan and then alessandro so shout out to my friends <laughs> And where are you at? You at water? I'm at right now. I'm waiting at Sam's Club, waiting for my dad. He's picking up dog food. But I was at Best Buy. Um, I was at Best Buy just to check out cameras. It's about 800 bucks or something, you know. Um, so my dad's just uh, checking it out, and you know, it's pretty good. You know, I got some ideas, and I told them what I wanted. You know, I'm going to put um, Alessandro, uh, Dan, and also Thomas information on the video. I'm about to go, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So those are my friends. I usually talk to them like a lot. Um, I usually FaceTime them, you know, tell them like, so, you know, some of my problems or whatever, and we just talk. So they're good friends, Thomas, Dan, and also Alessandro. So I'll be leaving their Facebook information on this video right here, so don't forget to follow them. So I hope you guys liked this vlog and I also wanted to talk about what that subscriber said. It kind of got to me when he says that we all have PTSD, I was shot to this and that. And not all of us react the same way, just like not all of us, you know, just accept us being paralyzed. It takes time for most people to accept it and then also not everybody knows how to do some things like others, like transferring, you know, we're not all the same. So not just like not everybody wakes up screaming like I do when we're sleeping and not everybody's jumpy, you know, when they hear noises or when people pop out of nowhere, especially when I be doing the dishes and my parents or my brother just pops out of nowhere, it freaks me out, you know, and I just wish I could record it and show you guys what it's like when I freak out. You know, you guys think it's not serious and you guys think that everybody has PTSD, you know, you get over it. But like I said, it's just more than just getting shot and having a friend betray me and me begging for my life and losing my daughter and not seeing her anymore. You know, and what I mean by losing my daughter is like I haven't had contact with her. The mother is just bitter and just kept her from me. Um, and also... 
just growing up, I was abused when I was a baby, you know, from my biological mom, and she cheated on my dad, and while he's in the army, and he was in the army for 17 years, and then also my baby mom used to, like, kick me, stomp on me, choke me, you know, throw knives at me, and like I said before, the cops, you know, when I called them, because I was tired of it, because I didn't want to put hands on a female, because I don't want to get locked up, but I called the cops, and they're like, well, how do you know she choked you? You're still breathing, and that's that's what irritates me with society. It's like double standards, you know, because if a female said, oh, he did this and that, it's like you don't need any proof. They'll just lock you up. Like a lot of females will accuse you of, of beating and raping them, which I was accused too from my ex because I didn't want to be with her, and it disgusts me how some people are like that. So I have some issues, of course, you know, like trusting people because of things I went through, and when that guy says we all have PTSD, this and that, you know, it's like I don't expect everyone Everybody understand my situation we're not all the same you know like I said everybody is different and you shouldn't judge everybody you know we don't know like what they're going through and also just like my goals is in your goals you know I hope that I could like start trusting people I've been burned over so many times and just people just prove me right about things just like relationships I've been cheated on a couple times and seeing how some females are it just disgusts me it just proves me right like you know, where just like my ex was saying, I'm not like your baby mom, this and that. And she was there fucking a landlord. And that's what irritates me. It's like, it's hard for me to trust people. So anyways, hopefully this is a good vlog for you guys. I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, if you'd like to have a chance for a shout out, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll be choosing a new subscriber in my next video. And also, if the vlog was entertaining or educational, then don't forget to like, subscribe. Until next time, bye. Thank you.